I just want to highlight some protein paradoxes. We rarely, if ever, stop to consider these. But if we do, we quickly see that something doesn't add up with the protein story. Firstly, we're told from a very young age that we, we need to eat lots of protein to grow up big and strong and to, to grow our muscles. Yet we see that virtually all of the strongest, biggest, most muscular animals get virtually all of their protein from simple plant food foods like grasses and fruits and leaves. When was the last time you saw an elephant or a gorilla or a buffalo or a horse tucking into a steak, right? They don't eat that stuff. And yet they're hugely muscular and strong. Clearly they're getting protein from somewhere to build these muscles. And so it must be coming from the simple plant foods that they eat, the grasses and leaves. Most of us don't even think of these foods as having protein in, but clearly they do. Now, obviously I'm not saying that we're the same as, as horses or elephants, but evidently we've got to think that there must be plenty of protein to build muscle in these foods. Secondly, we try to eat high protein to both lose weight and to gain weight. Surely someone trying to drop pounds and a bodybuilder trying to put on weight should be eating different things given that their, their goals are exactly opposite. But no, the food industry has convinced us that more and more protein is always the answer. And so the same thing that food companies will sell to someone trying to slim down and get that bikini body is relabeled and repackaged and sold to, you know, a gym bro trying to get as much muscle on as fast as they can. How does that make any sense? Thirdly, given protein's undoubted importance in growth, it stands to reason that the time when protein is most vital, when we need the most of it, is when we're growing fastest. This is, of course, when we're babies. At no other time in our life will we grow even close to as fast as we do when we're small babies. And yet, human breast milk has the lowest concentration of protein of just about any mammal milk tested at just 8.5 grams per liter. Compare that with cow's milk, which has over three times the concentration of protein, or rat's milk, which has over 10 times as much protein. And bear in mind here that human breast milk is this perfectly created food that evolution has perfected over millions of years to try and grow a human baby in the most efficient way possible. Surely this should throw into doubt the notion that more protein is always better. The final protein paradox I want you to think of here is, when was the last time you heard of a friend or a family member being rushed into hospital with a serious case of protein deficiency? Or, okay, let's lower the bar a little bit. What about just your friend is not feeling very well and you've heard someone has gone to the doctor, said, I'm not feeling well, doc. What's wrong with me? And they've come away and said, Oh, you've got a serious case of protein deficiency. I don't know anyone like that. I've never heard of that. Have you? Tragically, I've known all too many people who've been diagnosed with horrible conditions like cancer and dementia and heart disease. And when it comes to deficiency, sure, I've known uh, people who have had iron deficiency, they've been anemic, or they've been low in iodine and they've had thyroid problems, or they've even been low in vitamin D. Uh, that last one was actually me about six years ago. But protein deficiency? Common sense tells us it's unknown. And yet still, influencers, and fitness people and even nutritionists and doctors will talk at length that you've got to get more and more protein as if it's this thing that we're, we're so close to being completely deficient in. So at this point, surely alarm bells should be ringing about the supposed status of protein as a, as a nutrient of deficiency concern. Surely this should start to make us think, well, hang on, why are we focusing so much on protein when clearly there are other illnesses that are really happening to people that I know?